nobody commanded the stage any better than Elvis Presley. The most exciting, raw, animalistic things I've ever seen. The girls started screaming. He was out in front of that public again and performing and doing what he does best, and that's sing his song. All these young like students and people are combined to see him, and no one even knew where his car was going to be. I never will forget when he played the Astrodome, which was the first big concert with 60,000 people. He just had a charisma. He had a way of pulling in. It, it, people call it Southern charm. He had it in spades. such a natural, good person, a tender, caring, warm guy. Whoever has not seen Elvis live has missed the greatest entertainer of the 20th century. Elvis would have, in any role, would have adapted to it and been able to perform fantastic. He was lovable, he was dangerous. I think he had more girlfriends than he had guy friends. Yeah, I don't know, there's something about him that just drew you in. For money. I'd like to get married. I'd like to have a family. Two for the show. So it's a normal thing to do. I mean, who wants to grow old and be alone? You know what I mean? Three to get ready now. Go, 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 go. Step on my blue suede shoes. Well, you can do anything but step over my blue suede shoes. Love me tender. Love me true. To find that one girl. It's a thing that you can't rush. A lot of people think if they're not married by a certain age that they're losing out. It takes a while. I mean, it takes a while to find someone or to get to trust somebody. Elvis, there have been a lot of rumors about your love life. Did you meet anyone special in Germany? <laughs> there was a little girl that I was, I was seeing quite often over there that uh, her father was in the Air Force. And there were some pictures made of her. <laughs> The stories came out, the girl he left behind, and all that. It, it, wasn't, it wasn't like that. I mean, <laughs> I had to be careful when I answer a question like that. You know, the world has an image of the king, and rightly so. But behind the image, behind the lights and the makeup and the music, there was a real human being, a real person that had feelings that was entirely different, light years away to the image. Elvis was an extremely intelligent human being. He just wanted to know about all different kinds of aspects of life. He was always searching for something. We didn't know what it was, but as life went on, we realized that he wanted to know why he was here. Why was he picked to be this person? Why did he get all this talent? But there were times I looked at him, he looked very lonely, and he'd be in the middle of a bunch of people. And I'd look at him and i think, he think, he's not even where he wants to be right there. He's, he's not feeling anything right now. He... I thought, oh, how is he gonna come out of this? And then another part of me thought, he's going to. He will come out of it. Then the other voice in me said, no, this is not good. He's reaching the end of the, his, his road. He had this intuitive way of reading somebody, and he said, Jerry, I said, yeah. He said, you know what's going to be the hardest thing for you to deal with? And I said, what are you talking about? He said, to do nothing. And I never have forgotten that. And I know he was talking about himself, too. Times I'd go over to him, I'd say, hey, boss. Hey, Sonny. 
About ready to go? Yeah. Yeah, let's go. Get him out of that. Wasn't enjoying it. He wasn't enjoying it. I apologize. I get emotional. Blue, please, you. Oh, you can knock me down, step in my face.